I am very excited because our next guest is a chef for the cast and crew of Yellowstone, and he also plays a chef on the show from time to time. Gabriel Gator Gilbo plays Gator, the personal chef for the Dutton family at their ranch. And in the scene you're about to see, he tries to cook for John Dutton's love interest, who's vegan. Is there anything to eat that didn't have a heartbeat last week? Uh... Orange juice didn't have a heartbeat. Is it non-GMO? I'm not sure what that means. It means the scientists didn't alter the DNA of the orange to make more money and ravage our bodies. I just buy big bags from the grocery store. Well, Gator's here with us now, <laughs> releasing a new cookbook with all his favorite recipes from the show and also his own life experiences. It's called Yellowstone, the official Dutton Ra Ranch Family Cookbook. It's distributed by Simon & Schuster, we are proud to say, which is part of our parent company, Paramount Global. Chef Gator, good morning to you. Yay. Very good morning to you all, too. Uh, I love the book. I cooked something from it last night. It's simple, good food. What did you make? What did you make? I made Lee's uh, garlic butter steak bites. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Which, and this is part of your philosophy. That was in the starter section. I made it as a main. You know, talk about a steak We're trying dish. to bring it back. Steak can be an appetizer okay. now. <laughs> at, least, at least in Yellowstone, it can. I like it. I like steak it. as an appetizer. So you got this job because, as you describe in the book, you got a call in the middle of the night. Apparently, it wasn't going well at the chef's table up for the cast. You arrive at 1 a.m. and you just get to work by breakfast time. Is that right? Yeah, I got a phone call. I think it was midnight sharp um, on a Friday. And Yellowstone was not an easy venture for anybody, but especially to feed the, the cast and the crew um, in such extreme conditions and in such remote locations. But you didn't even know it was Yellowstone. They just not told you it was some Western. All, I, all they yeah. told me is that there was a cowboy that was in charge, that was very hungry, and perhaps a little bit agitated. Uh-huh, that um, would be Taylor and that, Sheridan. And that yeah. I had to get out there and come feed the cowboy. And then and, you guys uh, clicked, and then, so you end up actually on the show. I think that's so cool. That is. No act, I think that, it's such a great backstory. Well, I told here. him right away, I said, you know I'm not an actor, right? He goes, yeah, just go ahead, do it. <laughs> Go do gator stuff. <laughs> I've been doing gator stuff for years now, so it seems to be working out. It I is working out great. No, when you talk about in your book your gator stuff, I just fell in love with you in this book. You said you've got Cajun heritage, but sometimes on the set what you like to create is a gator vibe. You like good music, some coffee maybe, a steak, and a good story to tell. What does a gator vibe look if like? You're, what do you do? If you're visiting the Yellowstone movie set, um, you are gonna make the first stop at my, at my kitchen 100%, or you're maybe the wrong person invited you, but uh, <laughs> but that is gonna be your first stop. It's a good way to get you in the in the zone for what what we're all about at the ranch, and um, I think I'm an integral part of, of being on Yellowstone. You, yeah, you gotta, well, go, Yellowstone you gotta is, go eat some gator food. Of course, you go and, <laughs> the gator vibe. We have, have, have a vibe. coffee, I you know, like maybe it. have some more, you yeah. know. Uh, it, it's a it's an important place to start for sure. The, the show is wildly successful, and I and I love that you know, Yellowstone is leaving uh, no crumbs, um, pun intended, on the table they of the success. Uh, but this isn't easy to write a book. Um, what was the best part, and maybe the most difficult part of it writing? It was book? incredibly difficult to transfer stuff that I've been doing for years, um, for at home and for television productions and film productions that I just did by sense. I did by taste and touch, and, and I knew that I knew the recipes in my head. Oh, you're kind of old school with so you, you it. Very much so, and to, to actually literally put pen to paper and, and come up with measurements and portions, and uh, that was very difficult for me because mm. it was something that I'd never wow. done before. I, I was never a recipe guy, and it's I, had them, I had them here, right. but not here. The yeah. gator, so the recipes, the potato corn chowder, mm. I wanted to look that, lick that page. Rips fry bread, wanted mm. to lick that page. Then you, know, you had. We need to cook all these recipes for you at your house. Is what we need to do. Oh, yes. hey, listen, Gator, hey, Gator, don't threaten her. Gator, uh, I was going to say, Gator, asking for a friend. Are you attracted to older black women that can't cook? <laughs> Today, older for sure. Women... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. I, don't I mean, know. Hey, but, hey, but, but when you she, say... she's looking for a dessert, man. You want to be careful. <laughs> They're at the end of the book. <laughs> there are desserts. But Gator, what you say, and I, I so believe this is true because I can't cook. I think being able to cook a meal and serve it to somebody is one of the most loving things you can do. I'm yes. serious about You're that. You're right about that, Gil. I know, I both these guys can cook, and I'm, I'm envious of that. So what does it mean to you? What, what do you feel when you see people eating your food and eating every last drop of your food? That's the most important part to me, is um, 
getting people to enjoy food again. And, and you know, if I'm lucky, maybe I can bring them back to a, a core memory or, yeah. you know, make them feel like they're sitting in their grandmother's kitchen or their mama's kitchen and, and having some, some delicious, good home cooking. And, yeah. and when I get to see people eat and, and gush over, oh my yeah, God, this yes. is fantastic. Yes. And, you know, here we are on the side of a mountain in Montana you know, with the most beautiful scenery you could imagine in the background. So it's just, uh, that can, that's super special. Can we just show the biscuits? Like I started mm. singing. I said, what is this? <laughs> very thing? important recipe in oh that book. Oh my God. You know? very, it's very, very makeable, very makeable. What is uh, Kevin Costner like, Gator? Does he have a favorite? Uh, he's, uh, he's a real simple man, that, that Kevin, and um, he, he likes uh, my chicken and dumpling recipes in there. That's one of his favorites. I do too. Um, but that's one of everybody's favorites. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Gator, I just like you. I just like you. I think you're we're terrific. He, he, I love your backstory. You. Awesome, back. The book Congrats. is terrific. Uh, Thank it's you. It really came cooks. out beautiful. Uh, Chef did. Gator, we'll have to ask you in the Good commercial job. break how you got that nickname, Gator. Meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm gonna tout the book, Yellowstone, <laughs> the official Dutton Ranch family cookbook. It's on sale right now wherever you like to buy your books. And starting Sunday, you can watch season one of Yellowstone on broadcast TV for the first time right here on CBS.